Hey guys, I'm here, also known as 8 Vinyl Low, bringing you all another video. Um, I know it's been a little bit, it's been about a couple of weeks now since I posted my last video. I just need a little brain break. That was a tongue twister, brain break. Uh, need a little break from filming videos. I've been watching videos, commenting as much as I can, but just needed a little break with all the craziness going on. Um, I just wasn't really feeling videos. But now I'm back, I have a, a fun video. I think it's fun, I, you decide. <laughs> um, but I have a video for you all. It's gonna be kind of a vinyl haul, vinyl updates video. Um, now that all of the local record stores are shut down, obviously, um, a lot of them have moved their inventory online. And to, sh to show my support for my local record stores, I had ordered a couple of records from them. Uh, on top of that, I received some VCLT in the mail that I do want to show in this video as well, kind of highlight. And um, and yeah, feels good making a, a video again. Uh, I have some, some videos and maybe some collaborations coming in the near future, so keep your eye on other VC videos. Um, maybe you'll see a, a collaboration pop up here or there. Um, it's a bet. That's a good, that's a good bet. Uh, but, but yeah, so that's kind of, uh, what I've been up to. I hope that everyone is staying safe and staying healthy, staying inside, um, not storming Capitol buildings. I can't explain that. Um, I'm all for doing what you want to do, but when it comes to, to lives and saving lives. Anyway, <laughs> um, so, First and foremost, I want to touch on the VCLT. Um, so Mazzy, we all know Mazzy here in the VC. He had done a couple of videos with his co-author of a book that they wrote, The Beatles England. And he had mentioned in his video that there were still some copies left. And of course I wanted to support Mazzy and get his book. How cool is that? So I sent him an email. He was selling them for 20 bucks shipped. And, uh, here it is. I finally have my copy of The Beatles England, of course, signed by Mazzy. Cheap Trick Connection, Beatles Connection. With him, there's a Beatles Connection. With me, there's a Cheap Trick Connection. It's a thing. Uh, he also sent along some buttons. We'll do the hand behind the button there so it can focus a little bit. Classic Mazzy. But he also, and he didn't have to do this, so Mazzy, thank you so much. I'm so excited to listen to these. He had sent me a couple records um, with, with the book and the button. So very generous of you. Thank you again. Uh, I normally do unboxing with my VCLT, but knowing what you think about just the unboxing aspect, this actually worked out in your favor. So nice job with the surprise. Um, so Mazzy had sent me two albums. He sent me Crown of Creation by Jefferson Airplane, San Francisco Connection, Beatles Connection, San Francisco Connection, um, uh, Martini Connection, um, Fedora Connection, uh, what else can, Rikuder Connection, I could go on and on. Uh, but we'll do San Francisco Connection because we already knocked off the Beatles one and the Fedora one with the buttons. Uh, but Crown of Creation, I don't own much Jefferson Airplane. I haven't really gotten into them yet. Uh, so this is a wonderful addition to the collection. Very excited to give this a listen. I think I know the first track when I was looking at this called Lather on side one. Uh, but other than that, maybe Gracie Hart on side two. That kind of sounds familiar by Jefferson Airplane. Um, but like I said, I don't really know their stuff. So I am very excited to give this a spin. He also sent uh, Child is Father to the Man. I think this is Blood, Sweat, and Tears' first album. I don't own anything from Blood, Sweat, and Tears, but I know that they do have kind of a blues, blues rock sound. So I'm gonna assume that's maybe why Mazzy threw this one in here. Um, but it does have, uh, who's in this? Steve Katz from the Blues Project, right? And uh, uh, what's his name? Why can't I think of it? Where, where are you? Yeah, Al Cooper. L. Cooper and uh, Steve Katz from the Blues Project from uh, New York, right? So very, very cool. I think that uh, that band kind of evolved into this. 
So very neat. I cannot wait to give those a listen. So thank you very much uh, for sending those my way. All right. Now I have not a lot. I have three albums uh, that I want to show that I picked up at a local store, their online inventory. Um, albums that I've wanted for quite some time that now I kind of pulled the trigger on because uh, I want to, wanted to uh, support them. So, so excited about this. Uh, of course, we have Fresh Cream here. I've wanted this one for so long. I still need to get Goodbye Cream. That's the only cream that I'm missing. I, of course, have Disraeli Gears and Wheels of Fire, but I still need Goodbye Cream. Finally have Fresh Cream. Just because of the real bluesy kind of root sound uh, on this album, I'd normally gravitate towards this, but uh, Disraeli Gears, you cannot go wrong. Really, all cream is enjoyable, in my opinion. What a trio, what a lineup. Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker, Eric Clapton, fantastic. But fantastic British blues uh, album. And following that kind of bluesy sound, this one definitely takes the cake for me. And it is, for my label people out there, that first press on the brown or tan and purple uh, at co-label. So. Uh, super excited to finally have uh, have that in my collection. Flipping the insert there. All right, the other one I picked up. So excited about this. Frankie Miller Band, The Rock. Frankie Miller, a Scottish singer songwriter, very much overlooked and underrated in my opinion. Um, this came out in 1975. It's a promo copy, but you know. There's the label if you want to see it. Um, but yeah, probably my favorite of Frankie Miller. Again, definitely following that kind of British blues sound. This is such a fantastic album. If you don't know Frankie Miller and or you don't know this album, you need to listen to this. Jeff, if you're out there, Jeff Kempin, and you're watching, you need to listen to this album. Bob Seger notes this guy as uh, having a huge influence on him. And you hear it in the music as well, where, where Bob Seger definitely gets some of his sound. But fantastic, fantastic, um, kind of blues, rock, uh, almost folky at some point album. Absolutely incredible. The title track is incredible. Uh, 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 it has a fool in love in it, which is incredible. That's the, the um, opener, the heartbreak. Uh, hard on the levee, ain't got no money. I, this entire thing, I could just go down the list. Fantastic stuff. So if you aren't familiar with Frankie Miller, definitely give this album a listen. His best, in my opinion, and a fantastic uh, British blues sounding record. Definitely recommend it. All right, almost done. Last but not least, I'm going to take this out of here. Another album I've wanted for some time, Naturally, by J.J. Kale. Uh, don't own any J.J. Kale. Love this record, though. After Midnight, of course. Uh, finally pulled the trigger. Like I said, this is a music on vinyl, 180 gram reissue, and um, needed this one in my collection. I've recently been reading Eric Clapton's biography, uh, and of course, J.J. Kale had a huge influence on on Clapton. Um, so definitely decided to pull the trigger on this just because of that influence from reading that book. Almost done with that biography. I think the next book that I'm going to read is uh, Brian Wilson. I am Brian Wilson because I've been really kind of into digging more into into the Beach Boys uh, as of recently. But if you have any music related book recommendations, please let me know because that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been reading a lot um, since I've, I'm uh, stuck at home, so I'm, just like we all are. Uh, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know down below because I am, like I said, reading as much as I can and learning as much as I can. So just under 10 minutes. That's all I have for this video, guys. I will see you soon again. Keep an eye out for the collaborations 
Um, Mazzy, thank you again for that uh, VCLT for the book, for the buttons, and uh, yeah. That's all I have for this video, guys. I will see you for my next. Bye, guys.